Hey, it's me, Hoople's Cat. Hey. Just want to do a small version of the video that I'm going to do as part of the pre pandemic prepper series that I'm doing eventually that I'm working on uh, when I don't grade anymore. Hopefully a few more weeks. Uh, but some of the stuff I'm going to be doing in it, you'll see it being done in, in real time. These are face masks. Uh, I sent a few of these out to people uh, with my fridge magnets and condoms and they thought they were dust masks. These are not dust masks. These are N95. This is an N95. This is not an N95. As a rule of thumb, any face mask that has loops like this is not an N95 mask. What these are for is to make visitors in hospitals feel protected. You're much better off using a bandana than one of these things. You can fit it. These don't really fit very well. Now if you're going to use one of these, get the loops, chin first, over the ears, pull it down, and any bits of plastic or metal or foam that are there, make sure they're secured. Having got the mask on your face, don't touch it ever again until you take it off. <sighs> this thing's leaking like a sieve. Gives you some protection, I guess. When you take these off, to get everything else off first, we'll get into that. To take the mask off is last, and you do it this way. And dispose of it without touching. Now, I do recommend you get N95s. I uh, don't really care where you get them from, don't really care how much they are. When you get them, make sure they're not stained or wet. Make sure you don't have any facial hair. Make sure you have shaved. In a pandemic, you will be shaving every day. Sorry bald guys out there, off with the goatees. Fashion statement time versus dying. You want these to fit. They won't fit. There's any facial moustache hair right here. Really won't fit. And for the ladies out there with beards, shave. Anyway, when you get them, Open them like this. This has got two straps like this. This is kind of a cheapy version, but it is an N95. Uh, it's not the one I would use, but, you know, I'm particular. Get the straps separated. Now, which way's round? You probably can't see it, but there's actually a piece of plastic or metal in here and there. So the metal always goes on the nose. There's none on the bottom. You put your chin in first, you stretch the plastic so the bottom goes over the back of the head and the top one goes near the crown of the head. That's not it. Once you've done that, mould this aggressively to your face. Make sure, holding this, that this is secure. Now this is a duckbill type. I don't particularly like them, my face is too fat. Right there I know this eye is getting a blast of air. So I'll try and reposition it again. No, it's leaking. On this side, the air, anything I'm breathing in is coming up. And uh, this is why I wouldn't use this one. Now when I take it off, I do it like this. Gently dispose. Remember, if you're wearing these in the real, and there's a pandemic, the outside of these are just jammed with the bugs. Now this is the one I usually use. Um, N95, same as the other one. When you take this out of the pack, now this one has actually got instructions on the pack. And I did send out some which are hidden away in a box somewhere that actually have a different type that are white that I sent to a few people that are kind of partial duck mask. And they actually have the instructions on the packet, on each packet. This one does not. When you open it up out of the packet, what you have is this. Now, like I say, they all vary. So there's a piece here of metal and a piece here of metal. So I go like that. Make a little concertina. Now, the widest part here. I have two straps, and you can tell these straps are cotton, they're actually much, well actually plastic, but it's a lot better than the other one. So gamming the two straps again, chin in first, straps over the head, 
bottom strap at the back, top strap over there. No strap is to touch your ear. Again, when the mask is on, mold it aggressively to your face. Using the nose first. Aggressive here. Then hold it tight and make sure this is pulled down and there's no air entry through here. Now this actually has plastic in the bottom. Slight air entry but not much. No mask unless it's a full NBC military mask with a filter that's actually working properly and you have to change them a lot will actually protect you. This will vastly reduce the amount of air particulates, bugs, viruses in the air and in the water vapour in the air that's coming into your mouth. So this is what I would use. Now this then begs the question, how long do you use these for? I go into contact zone, keep the mask on. If I've been in the contact zone too, too long, I leave the contact zone, de-gown, de-glove, remove the mask, put the mask back on. So I hope this helps a bit. Um, doing this as part of the gowning and stuff, I want to do one at a time. So you actually see what I'm doing bit by bit. Now again, how do we take it off guys? I take the gown off, I remove the gown. If I'm wearing boots, I remove the boots. If I'm wearing a, a plastic uh, suit, I remove that first. I have gloves on. Uh, these can be cheap gloves or expensive gloves. When I take the gloves off, which I'll show you, wash my hands, fingers, well away from this. Lower one to the front, upper one to the front, and let it go off. Now I recommend as you take it off, don't breathe. <sighs> You're in trouble. Uh, you'll see nurses put lipstick marks on these and all sorts of things. You're not supposed to, but you know what, you get bored, right? Uh, anyway, hope you found that helpful. Um, how many do you need in the pandemic? I think it just depends. I mean, for most people, most preppers that have got food and water and stuff in their houses, you might not need that many of these because really and truthfully, these have only got any use if you're actually in an infected area or near an infected person. So unless you're actually going to, like I am, I would be treating people at home. Uh, in a massive pandemic that was fatal. Um, you don't really need vast quantities of them. But I would look around uh, and I would look to see about getting 50 of them. And I wouldn't spend a lot of money. You can get them quite cheap. Uh, if you know any nurses or doctors that have access to these, you could always ask them. Uh, can you get me one or two? You know, they might be able to, you never know. Au revoir. Stay safe.